Welcome back! I know it's been a while since I've made a video, life got a little crazy there for a while, but I am in full swing of Renaissance Fair prep and I thought we could unload a kiln together. One of the common questions I get about my kiln is how much fits in it. There's a couple ways to answer this, one by how much product can fit in it, but the other is how much value can fit in it, and that differs. So let's take a look inside and see how much there is. My kiln is a Scut 1022, which means that it has 10 sides, these, one, two, three, goes around, 10, and is 22 inches deep. So here we can see that I had some extra space. So let's pretend that this was a completely full kiln and we could have fit one, two more mini mugs in there at the least. So these are my mini mugs. They are great for a kid's first mug. That was the original inspiration was a mug of hot chocolate that I had as a kid. It was my special hot chocolate mug. And this way you can give them a full mug and it not be too much. But it's also great for adults who want an espresso mug, or maybe you just drink a little less coffee, a little less tea. These sell for $20, so let's count out how many we have. Next up are the Dragon Scale Dragon Egg Mugs. I've been making these for quite a while. Each scale is hand carved and these mugs are $50. Last we have Fairy Pots, which are really popular at the Renaissance Fair. Some other artists might make small pots and call them mommy vases. They're great for the dandelions that your little kids pick for you. What I love about these is that they are a great space filler to get the most value out of your kiln. You'll see more of what I mean on the next shelf. Normally on this level, I would have a cone pack, but I ran out a couple firings ago. I'll be making some more. Even though I have an electric kiln, it is still important to use cone packs because you know what? Computers lie. Cone packs show you what temperature your kiln is truly firing at. And here are some showing different reaches of temperature based on how the cones melted. For my kiln, I fire at cone 03 in order to reach a cone 04. So it's important to know you're actually reaching the temperatures that you think you are. On this level, we have some more dragon egg mugs, a mini mug or two or three, and we also have some drinking bottles. These are very popular at the Renaissance Fair. They are great for popping in the fridge the night before to get nice and cold, and then the ceramic helps keep your drink cold all day long. Have you ever heard the lecture story about work-life balance where someone is filling up a jar, first with something sort of large like rocks, and then they do something smaller like beads, and finally something even smaller like sand. And at each step, they're asking the audience whether the jar is full. And of course, at each step, they believe that it is until the demonstrator can show that no, you still can fit more in the jar. That is what fairy pots do for my kiln. If you fill up a kiln with big pieces, you might not have room for any more big pieces, so it seems full. But there's always these small little spaces that you could squeeze something else. That's why I like to make sure I have a variety of size pottery in each firing so that I can fit in all of the little nooks and crannies as best as possible and get the most value out of my kiln. What I am taking out right now are called kiln furniture. They come in different sizes and it is how you prop up the shelves that your pottery sits on. You wanna make sure 
that your kiln furniture is taller than your pottery so that you can get good airflow for the pottery to heat up. All right, and now we are on the bottom shelf. Two of my favorite things are on this shelf. First, we have my skull mugs. The very first one of these was made as a custom order for my cousin and everyone online loved them so much and I finally had time to make some more. One of these is going out to the treasure hoarder level of my Patreons and two others are going to end up going in the Patreon secret shop. So if you'd like to snag one of these, make sure you join my Patreon and then you'll get access to the secret store. The other really cool thing on this shelf are these Patreon Fang Club mugs. How cool are these? Depending on your tier, you can earn them from as little as two months to as long as over a year. It's almost like a payment plan to get your custom mug. Each Patreon gets to choose what colors they want in their crest and what colors they want their mug to be. If they want it stein shaped like these or if they want it coffee shaped. Uh, these are the first two going out to some of my members. I'm so excited to send them. And if you want one of your own, make sure to check my Patreon. The link is in the description. The remainder of this kiln has some more mini mugs, dragon scale mugs, and some drinking bottles. And of course, some more fairy pots to fill in the gaps. I might put a few of the scale mugs and mini mugs online, so make sure you're signed up for emails if you want to get those restock information. But otherwise, the majority of my inventory right now is being saved for the Renaissance Festival, or more so the New York Renaissance Fair in Tuxedo, New York. It starts August 27th and goes through October 9th on the weekends. All right, let's get our final count on product. So in our kiln, we had four skull mugs, two Patreon mugs, six drinking bottles. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 dragon egg mugs. And then finally we had two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 23, mini mugs. Remember that we had room for two more, so technically it could have fit 25. And last but not least, we had 26 fairy pots with room for more. And the grand total value of all of these things is... If you enjoyed checking out my kiln, please give this video a like and subscribe if you want more pottery videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more as I get ready for the Renaissance Fair, and I'm going to be posting behind the scenes at the fair. Thank you to my Patreons for producing this video, and I'll see you in the next one.